Hey, Nyako here. So for today, we are going to create a 404 page. And with this, what I really want to, um, what I really want to do is to incorporate Element Hive. Element Hive, Element Hive has ton of design options that you can use to create what you do see on the screen right now. So over here, we have like a spear and the spear has like a 3D kind of like vibe where you can see that the um the text or the number that you do see is like waving around in the spear um um like animation kind of thing you know so that is what we are going to try and create and recreate using uh break dance and element high so let's get started and from there we will see how this goes all right so i'm going to go into a development um go back into the back and let me save this right and i'm just gonna go to the back end and over here i'm going to go into you see when you go to break dance you can go into template and in template you can just click on add template and over here you want to create a 404 page so this is how you do that so after you click on that if you want to do change the, the name you can also do it um over here so that is fine all right but if you just want this name to be the name that you're going to use just continue with edit and break dance Okay, so when you've done that, depending on the kind of design that you want, since we do want something that is filling the entire page, we are going to first add a section. So within this section, we are going to go into size and for size, I'm going to go into height and I'm going to do custom. For custom, in the minimum height um, option, I'm going to click on the pixel and then choose custom and then over here, I'm going to use 100 DVH. All right, so that is what I do want, as you can see over here. And I'm going to go into the search and type in overflow. And then I'm going to click on this um, cog icon. And then I'm going to make sure that overflow is hidden. All right, and I do believe that is good. I'm just going to save that and then clear this. And still in the section panel, we are going to go into layout. I'm going to make sure this is centered and then this is also centered. And that should be um, that should be good. So we are done with this face of it so what we are going to do next is to try and add the background that we do need so for background color i am going for like um, a kind of a green so i am going to open uh, figma first all right so i do have this um i'm going to use this to do the 404 so this is uh the text that i'm going to use this is just a normal text and then i've converted the text into um a vector and i've exported the vector out so that is what i'm doing and also i'm going to put this design into more blocks so if you have more blocks pro you'll be able to also copy the design if you go into the element hive section all right so um that being said so this is what i'm going to use so i'm going to copy the color over here because i do want it and coming back into our development in the section i am going to go first one is to create the background color there are two things that are happening when you go over there uh, and the first is we do have like um the wavy gradient happening which is what this is and you will go into the options and over here i'm going to add colors and for the first color let's say we're going to add this and then for i'm going to just duplicate it and for the second color i'm going to go up a little so yeah you can see it's a bit more subtle just like that all right so that is good if we want to change the options we can change um how this looks see this is there this is also there and i do think this is fine we can save that if we need to make any other changes we will make it when the time comes all right so that is background set now let's try and make the animation that you did see so we're going to make something a bit more similar not the same um so first and foremost we are going to go into like background and for background type we are going to choose web gl kinetic typography all right so when you do that we are you are going to see something like this so let's go more into like the options over here in the shape we do want something that looks like a sphere so this is a sphere so you choose that you can see this is what it looks like and over uh, the next thing that you want to do is change your image 
so the image that we are going to use is the 404 image that we did already export and import into here so you can see that the 404 is over there but you can barely see because we need to make some um a little bit more changes we can duplicate this and then we can also duplicate that um whatever number that you want as i said if we need to make some changes i'll come back into making it um i think one thing probably that uh probably the background is a bit too um it's a bit too distracting i can barely even see what i'm doing so i think this is fine all right so going back into this option so in background um what we can do is we can do we can bring this shape very close to us you know we can bring it very close to us by probably like um let's say a one so you can have something like this and in here we can go into back to shape and then you can see this image animation we can animate this image so now you can see that we are animating this image so like even with this you can just stop you already have like a 404 page over here that that is different from most 404 pages that you're going to see on the internet this is uh, literally really good um what we can do is we can even do it um by doing vertical now it's scrolling down we can do like direction we can do backwards we could do something like that if you want to change the speed of how this is moving you can also do something more like this all right um let's go back into um this image right we can even make this more and then you can also make this more if you want to make it all right so that is good we can go into transformation and over here we can start like turning things around so now it comes like this one comes into the middle uh, we can make this like this and yeah we can have something more uh something more funky more fun um what you can do you can do have something even more like that and like this and when we go back into transform going back into transform we can turn this around to we can change the perspective of the image so we can have something even more like this like whatever way that you want to like move things around you can actually um you can actually do that uh for image do we want to make more this is very fun so something much pretty see this one we've zoomed in right into like the very uh, the very text which is also a bit not bad at all so this one looks like uh you are sucking something into like a black hole you know like the very middle is like a black hole and you can have like your text on it so let's say we are we are satisfied mm -hmm. something like we are satisfied with what we do see i'm going to go back into this option go in here and in the second color probably i want to change it to something like that all right that is um that is good we can save this right and then what do we want to do probably let's add some text so let's say we're going to add a div and then inside the div we are going to add a heading text and let's say our heading text we want to make sure that the color is something that we can see and i'm going to copy some random text that i generated somewhere just copy that and paste it all right i don't want this to be too big so 1.2 rem that is fine i'm going to change uh, the the font to uh, ibm all right and what next is just normal text so copy this normal text and i'm going to copy some text that i generated from generated with chat gpt so this is that i'm going to go into size i'm going to make this one 350 and also make sure that typography is ibm and that is good and when i select the div i'm going to give this one like a 20 pixel and make this one center center and then clicking back on this text i'm going to change the color to that 
and also let's add a button right a button so that is a button and for this button we are going to use something mm, something like that and then going into going to custom i'm going to make sure that this is circled and then when i go back into figma i'm going to copy the color that we used for the background you have something more like that all right if you want to add like a um an icon you can add it let's say space mm. yeah we do have something like that and before so before that let's give it like a 10 pixel spacing which is which is good let's save that and then let's try and see whether we can see a full full page so let's give this one all right so we do have our full full page that looks like that so this uh this is a bit different from what i showed you from the beginning but you can see that the idea is still the same you are able to create something that is different from the normal 404 page like the normal 404 page that is sometimes very much boring this is not it is not boring at all this uh there's a bit of life in this people will see uh people who understand what a 404 page is they will see that you do have like a 404 and there is a bit of animation giving your 404 page a bit of life all right so this is how you create something more um how do you put it something more uh appealing when it comes to a 404 page using element hive and pregnant thank you for watching